Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We're playing Wrath of the Lich King. Playing as a hunter, currently level 24. We're gonna be 25 soon. Uh, I was intending to start the episode uh, somewhere in uh, Hillsbred, but I realized that we have a few quests here to complete. And there's also another one about the Warsong supplies that has a decent pair of boots. Sold a decent amount of items. We're gonna get about, what, six gold pieces? That's okay. Purchase a couple of drinks too. We can't really use them until 25, but now we can use the hog shanks both for our pet and for us. And speaking of pets. And okay, this is Stone Stalin Standstill. For the horde. We're gonna have to reach Mr. Lake for this one. Pixel obviously wants some horns. Change the aspect, but no, really. What I need to do is call the mount. And we also have the flight path, so we can come back here when we want to. Completed Black Fathom Deeps in the previous episode, so we need to reach Thunder Bluff for the quest eventually, though. Hello, man. The quest for the Outrunners. And, and this is the Warsong Supplies quest. Decent pair of boots, the Warsong boots. And the reason we should complete this one is because we can make the deadly blunderbuss since we are an engineer we can actually craft it all i need is to purchase some medium leather oh this is sharp talon we're level 24 never mind about sharp talon right now That is a level 19 wolf. Piece of silk cloth. We're gonna save all the cloth. We're gonna use it on either bandages or engineering. This is a barrow den. Realistically, we should find the nine outrunners and move on. is on to us. Probably not a good idea. We can actually deal damage. disengage oh maybe the forsaken intruders are going to help us oh come on I was not expecting to be able to kill it. Somehow, yeah, somehow it worked.
mystery meat. Yeah. Let's accept that quest. Should definitely feed the meat to the pet here. I used the immolation trap. Should have used the freezing one. I mean on the outrunner. That would have been smart. So now we know how to deal with Sharp Talon. Just lure him to the camp here. I don't see the elves. And it's not that they're hiding either. There's an operating manual. Page six. Oh, but honestly, that's a nightmare of a quest. We have a decent amount of inventory space, still though. Shoulder pads. Can you believe that we haven't found a single piece yet? That was a cloth one, but it's better than nothing. Although, realistically, it's not going to do much for us. So, never mind the Outrunners, we can complete that quest when we return to this area. We can go towards the Talondi path. There is a bear that we can hunt. And of course, the, the logging rope. There's a quest, the stone talon stands still. Named uh, probably after the talon deep path. Leading to stone talon mountains. That is a level 24 spider. The Greenpaw Village. I think I like the idea of taming a wolf. And I have another crazy idea. Since we're somewhat close to Darkshore, we might be able to tame one of the owls. Ten slot bag. You don't see those every day. Can't even remember the last time I looted one of those.
I'm going to prevent the cat from going into stealth. Just waste more time, honestly. Hey, there's a logging rope. We're gonna wave goodbye to the furbolgs for now, at least. realize that the trap is actually placed slightly in front of you which means you should be facing the enemy or well I mean you should adjust where your character is facing depending on what you want to do exactly we killed enough of those. We're still not 25, which means we don't have food. Can regenerate a bit of mana. The aspect of the Viper was definitely a powerful addition. I don't remember this in Classic. Can remember any of the hunters using it. Could have been a Burning Crusade ability. Let's ride out of here. The Shadow Horn Stag. And this is the Silver Wind. Wait a minute. That is an elite giant. Best if we avoid the refuge here, and especially its guards. It's the elementals that we care about. We're gonna dive into the lake. There's level 25, there's an operating manual page. Casting for us bolts. We can hold our breath for about five, no, about three minutes. Which is good enough for me. Uh, water, that's level 15. 
We have access to much better ones. Can apply a talent. Do I want the improvement pet? Reduces the mana cost, can cleanse. Poisons, diseases, magic effects. That doesn't sound bad at the same time though. I do feel we need the damage. And of course the critical strike chance. Oh, who is this? A hunter trainer. This is Danlar. The magical gazebo. No idea what they wanted to scout here. Or at least what they were expecting us to find. The hugging leggings. Is that a player? No. The trade goods vendor. School of Sagefish. And our pet is now 25. Wait, is it 20? Yeah, 25. I think we aggroed something. Oh, it's immune to the trap. Good to know. That is the befouled water globe. We're gonna accept that quest. One more page. Slowly collecting these. The infuriating part about this quest is that you're going to, if you quest normally in Ashenville, you're gonna get maybe 10 of these, and then for the remaining few, you'll be driven insane, unless you purchase them. If you do purchase them, which is a smart thing to do, it's not an issue. But at the same time, it kind of defeats the purpose because if you purchase one, well, you can purchase all of them, complete the quest as soon as you arrive here, get a lot of experience. Probably save yourself a lot of uh, headaches down the line. The Foul Chill. It's obviously not a nice ability. So according to the map, there was... 
I think this is Ursagus. Ursangus. Could be anywhere around here. We're looking for a bear. Level 25. Could be a bear, could be a druid. Hey, look at that. It's going to knock back and probably... Uh, I think we trapped the wrong bear. That was my fault. Not sure if the pet was hungry. I'm going to assume it was. This was the paw of the mighty bear or Sangus. We'll make a fine trophy. Or the Toran. What was her name? Thunder Thunderheart. Oh the level well we don't know what level it is. Let's get out of here. It's about 4,000 health. That is Shadowbra. Is that a cat? Probably a cat. I remember these three targets. It was a bear, the hippogriff, and it was probably a panther. I don't think it was invisible though. What is this? Mining skill is somewhat low. 108. We need about 120 to mine iron. That's an important milestone. Is this the Laughing Sister? We might have uh, come too far. This is the Rainwood Retreat. I remember a quest. But that was in the top of the actual retreat. Probably a chain. Oh, there's another page. Can't even remember the name though. Let alone where we can actually start it. That is a scenario and protector, probably a druid.
unfortunately no luck with a cat. Or panther. Hey, there's a troll shaman. Where did he come from? can see two bears, but that's about it. Which means it's time to go back to Splinter Tree. Or we could try the horns. Yeah, why not? Let's reach the intersect. Well, let's reach the crossroads and then There's the road south to the Barrens. The Outrunners we can find at any point. We can also go follow the river. We're gonna follow the river north to reach the area above. Yeah, that is a tower and there are some hostile guards outside. Probably part of Rainwood. We have paid six, two, five, twelve, and eight. The Shady Nook. And the Felfarin River. Shady Nook again. I don't think we can access the area above from here. Let's go north for a bit. There's a level 25 bear. Some elementals inside the river. Could obviously try to tame a bear, but... Maybe we can try something more interesting. That is a tin vein. realize that Ascenvale is also teeming with wildlife and many of them are beasts that you can tame. You can get the spiders, you can get the wolves. Bears are obviously everywhere. This is Zavian. No, it's Night Run. Even the game is not sure about that. And that is an iron deposit. We cannot mine iron. The Growl of Fortitude? 300 health. Okay. No wonder they are so tough. This will take a while to kill. 
Should probably avoid the bears. Bladder. No, thank you. These are demons. Usually demons and undead are the paladin specialty. just realized we can get some cloth here was something invisible moving around no, maybe not oh it was oh we need to be careful these are two levels higher yeah definitely don't want to get caught in the middle of three or four This is page 8. We already have this one. can probably ignore it. There he is. Getting paranoid in this area. I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, because I'm because I was. Look at that. Two of them. 
Surprised we didn't aggro. No clue how that happened. But some kind of loading gem. I'm assuming it's not for us. This is page two. Did I already have this? No, probably not. Yellow vest. Is it really yellow? Not actually yellow. Huh. That was disappointing. Oh, look. Best if we let the demon come to us. These are Felmask Satyrs. Seriously need to find another hotkey for these melee abilities. We use them way too often. The X key is probably not good one. For what was I trying to say? Yeah, not good enough. Somehow unaffected by the surrounding chaos. Thank you. 
the music in this zone has been on point from the beginning. And we got the tenth page. Cloth and a moonstone. Oh, well, look at that. Thankfully, we had a trap ready. Almost down here. I really want to go back to using a gun. However, the issue is that I don't know of any decent guns we can get at this level. The longbow that we got from the Ghostlands is probably the best item we could get. Thematically, which dungeon could offer a gun? Only one that comes to mind is Nomura Gun. Was that the arcane shot? That is also page 10, the precision bow. Is it really 0.6 DPS higher? A bit slower though. Oh, hold on. We already had page 2. And we do have page 10, right? Yep. Not going to aggro, oh, of course it is. It was a nice multi shot. Let's finish this one off. Do we have enough horns? No, we only need one. That is page two. We have a lot of those. No, we still need quite a few of them. We've got six, so we need six more. Halfway done.
the mana potion. These were worth what? About a gold piece each. Maybe I should. Well, the mana essence is. Maybe we can use them. Yeah, they really don't make much of a difference. A hundred points of mana is not enough. Not at this level. When you first get them in the ghost lands, they're not bad, obviously. Must have been around 14, I believe. Either... Yeah, maybe we were level 15 when we got these. No. That is a stamina intellect cape. Really happy to say this. We're gonna leave Zavian behind, or was this Night Run? Could have been Night Run. So the path to the north is going to lead into Fellwood. That was the iron deposit we were not able to mine. That's okay, though. We completed a decent amount of quests. And I think this is a good place to end the episode. Level 28 wolf. I think I'm going to ignore all the wildlife here. We're going back to Splinter Tree. pass through here yes yes I can it's another salmon I think it's not the one we ran into in Rainwood he was level 28 no chance he gained four levels since we last saw him it was a troll this one is a nork but yeah thank you for watching I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next one we can turn in all the quests. And we can probably head into Darkshore. Maybe we can find an owl. We can try taming that one. And if it doesn't work, yeah, plenty of things to do. When we're done here we also have a lot of different zones to quest into. Hopefully I'll see you in the next part.